Genesis chapter 41, Joseph has been in prison. He's been there because he's falsely accused. But God has kind of raised him up and used him even in the prison. And then this crazy thing happens here in Genesis 41. Pharaoh, the leader of all of Egypt, the most powerful nation at that time, has a very disturbing dream. And all of his soothsayers and his wise men can't figure out what it is or how to interpret it. And someone who was in prison with Joseph at some time, one of the servants of the Pharaoh, says, hey, I, I met this guy in prison and he can interpret dreams. And so the Pharaoh calls for Joseph. The dream was about these five fat cows and five thin cows and about the fields and the Pharaoh's really troubled by it. So Joseph, they clean him up, they bring him in, and he interprets the dream. And he says, here is what, well, listen to this verse. This is what he says to Pharaoh. So Joseph answered Pharaoh saying, it's not me, Pharaoh, but God will give Pharaoh an answer so he might have peace. He, he always seems to turn and give the credit to the Lord. And God gives him the interpretation. There's gonna be seven years of famine, seven, seven years of plenty. And so Pharaoh's so impressed, he makes Joseph second in command over the entire nation of Egypt. From some say from prison to being a prince, from the dungeon to being on the top of the heap, almost overnight, God elevates this man and it's obvious that he has his hand upon him. And I think one of the keys and one of the great things about Joseph is that he always gave credit to the Lord. It's not me, he says, it's the Lord. And I think that's a simple principle that runs throughout scripture. You and I need to recognize, hey, it's not us, but it's the Lord who deserves the credit, the praise, the honor. No matter what he allows us to do or gives us to do, we realize, hey, we're just vessels. He's the potter, we're the clay. Joseph is an amazing picture of that story.